Okay, so what I have here is, this is called a rotary mat. And with the rotary mat, you also have a rotary cutter. And a rotary cutter um, looks like this. You push up this orange on the side here. Um, this is a really sharp blade, so be very careful with it. When you, if you, um, whenever you're done using it, even if it's just for a second, you wanna push this orange button right here to close it out. Um, again, it's very sharp. If you cut yourself, like you will, it will hurt, you will cut yourself. Um, it can be bad. So again, anytime when you're, even if you're just like lay down for a second, just close it so that nobody else um, has a chance of getting hurt or you don't have the chance of getting hurt. All right, so the first thing you wanna do with your rotary mat, um, if you ever use one of these rotary cutters, you have to use a mat underneath it or you will cut through, you will make um, cut marks on the floor, um, on tables, um, on countertops. So just keep that in mind. If this is not available, then you cannot use this. But this is something that you can use to make easy cuts um, on more than one piece of fabric at a time. So for example, right now we are cutting, um, we're gonna cut our fabric and you wanna make sure, you wanna measure your fabric first just to make sure you have enough. So we need, um, we need an 11 by 13 piece of fabric You have to decide. Um, I am cho choosing to use two different um, pieces of fabric. I have this one and I have this dark blue one. And this is just for um, to kind of show you guys the two different kinds. You can use the same color, um, but again, this one is really nice because it has a right side and a wrong side, whereas this blue looks the same on both sides. So that's why I like um, this piece of fabric. And um, so that's what, that's what I'm choosing to do. Okay, so first of all, you wanna make sure um, that you have the, the right amount. If you get a one, if you get one yard of fabric um, and either get one yard of the blue or one yard of um, another fabric, or you can get, if you just wanna use one color, you can get two yards of the blue or two yards of fabric like this. But you just wanna measure, <laughs> measure. You wanna measure and make sure you have enough um, fabric. So right here, um, I am showing that I have, so zero and it goes all the way up to 16 inches. Well, I know one side is supposed to be an 11 by 17 piece and I definitely have 11 inches going this way. My other fabric is uh, fabric piece is supposed to be 11 by 13. So I just need to double check and make sure I have the right amount. So I definitely have, um, here would be 17 inches, so that's good. And then if I would, you know, go up. So I definitely have enough, but the way I had the fabric this way is not gonna work. So I need to make sure that I have um, the fabric in the right direction. So here we go. You need an 11, uh, 11 by 13 piece for one of your fabrics. So, and you can tell on the side here, like here they are, there's, there's 11 inches um, and 13 inches. So, Now you probably should iron your fabric first. That would probably be super handy. Okay, so we have our, here's the top measuring thing, which just makes this, you know, super nice. So you wanna go up to 11 inches, which is right around here. So you can also look on the other side. I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's 11 inches. So you just wanna make sure you know where you're cutting to. There's 11 inches. When you use a rotary cutter, you wanna press down and then you wanna press down with the rotary cutter. If you do it really lightly, it's not going to cut, but you gotta put some, some oomph into it. And when you put some oomph into it, I mean, you'll be able to cut almost, if you can see that, um, almost all the way through the fabric. There's a few sections that I missed. So now I have a piece that I know is 11 inches tall. 
but now I want to do 13 inches wide. And so you can go up and you can see up at the top, there are 13 inches right there. And so you just put this along the 13 inch line, like so. And if you want to scoot it up a little bit so you can see 13 inches on both, kind of on both sides, because we know it's the right height. Um, We know it's right 11 inches, so we just need it to be 13 inches. So if we can do this, you can go straight up 13 inches. Again, put a little bit of weight into it, and your piece will come out. So here's our first piece. It's 11 by 13. There we are, piece number one. Okay, so set that to the side. Um, now let's do the 11 by um, 17. So this time we're going to do, we're going to go by the 17 marker because we want to make sure that we have a piece that's long enough. Now if you notice, I am doing it from the edge of the fabric and I'm not saying, okay, let's start right here in the middle and do 11 inches. The reason for that is the more extra fabric you have, the better. You never know when you're going to need like a little tiny scrap piece of fabric. So always start like work on the edge pieces first before cutting like in, from the center of, the, of your fabric. All right, so here's 17 inches. I hope you guys can still see that. You can, excellent. So we have 17 inches. So again, we're gonna hold down. Um, we're gonna hold this. And we're gonna make, uh, put some effort into it. I'm gonna scoot it a little bit closer to me so I can get to it. And we're going to just go ahead and cut right along. Now I like to have this plastic over it because it just gives me like a nicer edge to try to cut instead of me just trying to eyeball 17 inches. All right, now we're gonna go down um, the 11 inches. So again, there we can see it right there. So we know how much, like where to cut on the side. So I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit so I can see both the top number and the bottom number and make sure they're matched up. You wanna you know, make sure your fabric is pretty straight if you can help it. Okay, so when you hold this and you cut up, again, put a little bit of weight into it. That'll really help. Okay, so what we have now done is we have made it our, our 17. So um, this is what I'm going to use for the inside of my bag. Let me just double check again, make sure. Oh, my picture's right on target. Okay, so I've asked you to have, when you cut, you have a fabric you also have a lining and then you have batting. So this blue is what I'm going to use as my lining. So and you wanna make sure, so you can see right here, yay, it's the same. But you can also see that this back piece is a lot longer and that's good because you want it to be, you want it to be able to flap over um, and close on your Chromebook. All right, so now I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my other fabric. Um, into a one 11 by 13 piece and then one um, 11 by 17 piece. All right, here we go.